Good evening, folks, from Ravos International Airport. This is Spoon TV with me, Sylvester Chopley, and we are live here at the Ravos International Airport in Mangibi County, where His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, Joseph Nyoma and his entourage are returning home from the United States of America for attending the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. And that conference followed his visit to Canada, where he attended uh, Liberia Investment uh, Conference 2024. So we are live, we will be bringing you exactly why it's unfolded here. So stay with us, Sylvester, true place, Monday. So folks, um, as you can see now, His Excellency, uh, the President of the Republic of Liberia is uh, touching down uh, Liberia here at the Rabos International Airport. So as we uh, go on, we will be rolling down uh, some of the um, achievements of the President's trip to Canada and the United States of America. So his first uh, visit uh, when he left Liberia was in Canada, uh, where he attended the Liberia 2024 Investment, Investment Forum. And uh, during that uh, a conference, the president and his entourage uh, were able to uh, uh, have some talks with some uh, international business tycoons and other key government officials where there was agreed upon that by 2026, um, Liberia will have uh, an embassy in the Canada. So uh, that was one of the good news. Uh, good news uh, from the president's trip in uh, Canada. In addition to that, still in Canada, um, the president met with business tycoons where uh, Liberians residing in that country, that's Canada, uh, some of them expressed interest to coming back to Liberia and do business, open companies, and of course, um, work with other Liberians back home to improve the uh, the economy of our country. So that was done in um, the Canada. And then at the United States of America, you know, after the president uh, presented uh, before war leaders, there are several, several, several issues the president uh, 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 talked about. Uh, he presented on behalf of Liberia and uh, talked about the uh, the security state of our country and uh, talk about how international uh, leaders will make the effort to So this is the arrival of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia. President Joseph Nyoma Buakai. Folks, we are coming to you live from the Rabos International Airport in Mangibi County. The President is returning home from the United States of America, specifically from attending the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. So while the President uh, was on that conference, the President did call for justice poverty reduction, global backing for Liberia's UN Security Council bid. Uh, that campaign was long. So basically, uh, during the, the speech of the president, there are 
uh, several things the president spoke about. Uh, one was the, the issues of justice, two, uh, poverty, poverty reduction, and of course, uh, of recent, the uh, non permanency for the United Nations Security Council seat for Liberia. That the president did launch that campaign. So we are about to uh, proceed at the the commercial area of this airport to receive the president after which we will be back here to, back here at the uh, VIP lodge so here we have uh, government officials who have come to uh, receive the president earlier on the minister of state for presidential affairs uh, minister Sylvester Grispy uh, the senior program vice uh, to His Excellency President Joseph Nyema Buaka, that's Madame Medela Kupo, um, the Ambassador at Large, Charles Slender, and other officials are here to uh, welcome, to receive His Excellency the President of the Republic of Liberia. So, at usual, um, members of the Armed Forces of Liberia are already posted, ready to perform their a duty in receiving His Excellency the President of the Republic of Liberia here just before the VIP lodge here at the Rabos International Airport. So the President, uh, the conference from the the conference at the United, United States, the UNGA 79, it was his very first uh, time addressing members of the United Nations General Assembly to speak on behalf of the country as president of the Republic of Liberia. And with that presentation by the president, there are several things the president has spoke about. Um, the president emphasized Liberia's commitment to addressing issues relating to poverty uh, justice uh, he mentioned about the uh, the establishment and reinforcement of the war and economic crimes court uh, where he said many Liberians need justice so he talked about that so folks like I told you we are about to uh, proceed at the commercial area of the, of the airport to be back. National, that's global security issues, and to have a non permanent seat at the US Security Council. So one of the things that the president did was um, the president did meet and President Joe Biden of the United States of America where he had dinner with President Joe Biden and discussed some bilateral issues. So the president would uh, talk about what are those uh, bilateral issues, uh, discussions that he and his counterpart, uh, President Joe Biden, had in uh, that, during that um, reception at dinner. Of course, so the president will be able to brief us as to what is the good news uh, he took from his counterpart, the United States of America, President Joe Biden. But it's also a good to note that uh, the president did meet a president, President Joseph Nyoma Buaka did meet President Joe Biden uh, during the UN General Assembly conference in the United States of America. While they discuss, uh, the president will be telling the Liberian people perhaps when he arrives here at the VIP lodge.
so the president is not using the uh, usual train where he will use the bridge. Uh, this camera right he he will uh, get down directly from where you see there from the flat uh, the motorcade has gone already for him and right after that uh, they will be proceeding here at the VIP lodge where we here awaiting the president so they are now coming So there you have the president motorcade. Please go behind me. Please go behind me. Go behind. Go behind. His Excellency, the president. Has just arrived here at the VIP lodge. Hey, out there. Jump. The president will. He takes you back his vehicle here and the pump says. We have His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, President Joseph Nyamabuaka. So the Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, Honorable Jeremiah Kuhn, uh, will now begin the handshake. Uh, Final Minister, Augustine Bay Government, uh, Minister of Justice, uh, Agriculture Minister, the product advisor to the President. So the President continues to have handshakes with schools or government officials who have come to. So uh, the, pre the vice president along with the president Walking. So there you have schools of government officials here to receive His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, the President Joseph Nyamabuaka here at the VIP Lodge of the Rabos International Airport.
so uh, while we await the president we have here, uh, Natasha Kuyate, uh, he did to serve, uh, uh, he's well known in Liberia, he's in the protocol system. Mr. Kuyata, welcome to the media. You just witnessed the president arriving in Liberia from the United States of America, specifically from attending the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly. What is your thought about the president's I, conference? Uh, Liberia is uh, very proud and very happy that His Excellency arrived very healthy and safely in Liberia. And this has been a prayer for every, you know, for every Liberian, ensuring that our president is back home safely. Mm -hmm. So the, the president I did uh, go in Canada, uh, which later he went for the U UN General Assembly. What are those takeaways you, you, you saw from the president in terms of a uh, meaningful impact that his trips may have on Liberia? You know, President Walker is one person who doesn't speak on issues so much. He does most things and later on people get to know what he's doing. But I can tell you that his trip in uh, Canada and that was in the United States was very successful. We held the first Liberia, uh, uh, Liberian uh, Investment Forum uh, in Canada, which was embraced by government officials in the cities of Canada and Liberia's community there. And afterward, he went to the United Nations, he listened to his speech, it was very clear, it was a very clear agenda. I think that his full focus is on how can we feed ourselves, that's why his uh, agenda, the arrest agenda, uh, begin with agriculture and uh, rule of law, rules, education, sanitation, tourism. So his whole agenda is not for himself, he's not focused on the next election, he's focused on the next generation. And uh, President Walker has, been, has shown some level of difference in leadership. Uh, he does not encourage partisanship. He always tells people that if you want to come and see me here, don't wear a party t-shirt to come here. Come as Liberians, I'm a Liberian president, I'm not a partisan president. And I respect him for that. So when, when, when you say uh, the president trips to Canada was successful, uh, what do you mean exactly? What are those? What I mean exactly is that the, the, the aim of the, the purpose of the of the of the, of the, of the, the trip was yes. to attend the yes. investment forum in that part of the of the world. Yeah. And it was embraced by the investors and they were they are investors who are, have been to come very soon because of the president, because of that program. And the president of the United Nations was very successful too. So he made many many of African leaders who were very proud of the wise men that came to be the president of Syria, who focused not about just it's about himself, it's about the country in Africa. So do you think uh, one of the, the good news from the President of Canada was establishing uh, a uh, Liberian embassy in Canada and uh, both in Liberia? Do you think uh, good, that's good news for that, the people of Liberia? That's very good news. And there are other news, other countries where the, the President is making a tremendous relationship. And I can tell you that very soon, that Liberia has an embassy in many other countries. There's a Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the President of the are working in the line. So what should Liberians expect from the president of the United States? What Liberians should expect is that Liberians should firstly realize that this country belongs to us all. We must take responsibility to ensure that this country progress. President Waka cannot make it prosperous without our willingness to make it happen. So we as Liberians must give the government support, ensure that we should criticize the government is very wrong, but we should always be sure that when things happen, we encourage people and encourage the government for doing that. And I must admit, I was a presidential candidate, and I, I'm very grateful to God that President Walker won the election. Because he never had won election, the leadership that he has in place is now displayed. I wouldn't have done that. With his experience, his wisdom, you know, his age, and his contacts, international contacts. Imagine, I'm going to many countries, I've been to Senegal recently to meet our president, to his instructions. They have to call the ambassador license from the meeting. So I think that his leadership will help Liberia. And we focus on this country and focus on doing the good for our country. We will prosper as a nation and we'll be united as a people. And I can tell you for sure that Liberia will not be good just by all relying on the president. That will be a good country if we Liberia decide that it will be a good country. Mr. Kuyata, what's your thought about the uh, non permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council that Liberia launched? Liberia will be elected, I can assure that. Uh, Liberia will be elected on that. And the last president who did that was President Tuckman, if I'm not mistaken. And I can show you that Liberia will be elected. Well, as you say, what, what gives I'm you the motivation? I'm hopeful because we have a leader that is credible. We have a leader who is a man of integrity. We have a leader who is highly respected for what he stands for. I can tell you for sure. If Liberia have ever had a bad, wrong, wrong leaders, 
this time around about the leader. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Kuyata. Okay, so uh, that's um, the chef Kuyata. Uh, in one time, uh, Pastor Dexter defeated uh, the speedy to us there as it relates to uh, the... Uh, but the president uh, is at the VIP lodge now. Um, we await, you know, is, uh, him to come back and uh, speak to the me uh, media. Um, is is Necessary to note that uh, the president uh, trips in Canada and USA. Uh, as you listen to Chef Kuyate, he described it as successful. All uh, right, so. Here you have uh, schools and government officials. I'm seeing um, the Inspector General of the Liberia National Police, uh, Colonel Gregor Coman, is here. Uh,
So folks, uh, welcome, uh, welcome still. We are live here at the Erebus International Airport, specifically here at the VIP Lodge. So we, while we await the president, we uh, continue to bring you some of the um, the news, um, good news from the president chips in Canada and the USA. Uh, we begin earlier on with his Canada trip, uh, where the president, you know, attended Liberia Investment 2024 Forum, and there he met international business tycoons, entrepreneurs, and uh, those Liberians in Canada willing to uh, come back to Liberia and contribute to the country's economy. The president also talked about the establishment of uh, Liberian embassy in the Canada and of course here as well. That is a good news for the people of Liberia. So also in Canada, the president did uh, mention about talking to some investors who are willing to come back uh, who are willing to come in Liberia and go into the economic set of our country, Liberia, that was also held in Canada. After that, his Canada trip, the president proceeded to the United States of America for the United Nations General Assembly, where the president uh, did make the case of Liberia, um, presented on behalf of Liberia, projected all of the challenges, issues Liberia face, and how he thinks the government could uh, go ahead in making sure that uh, Liberia remains very calm and developmental. So the president also made the case in the United States of America, specifically where you talk about uh, the, the need of poverty reduction and asking for justice and prioritizing security. Follow, he launched the Liberia non permanent Security Council of the United Nations. Uh, we would love to know how did that campaign uh, go. The president might also talk about that. After that, the president ha had dinner with the um, U.S. President Joe Biden. What was discussed, the president might talk about it as it relates to the bilateral meeting between the president, the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, and him. So we're still here. Uh, awaiting his press, the, the president to come out to uh, ask a few questions uh, from the journalists here at uh, the VRP launch.
So, Ayrton uh, for now, the president will be walking out of the VIP lodge and uh, proceed to the media. But let's now talk about the campaign, Liberia's campaign that was launched uh, recently for the non permanent seat of uh, the Security Council, UN Security Council. So, on a live stream, we saw the former president of Liberia, uh, Madame Ellie Johnson Salif, uh, joining the current president, that's His Excellency President Joseph Nyoma Buakai, and other uh, leaders, including Foreign Minister Sarah Besson Nati, uh, to launch the a non permanent campaign for Liberia at the United Nations security level. Um, previously, the, the government of Liberia, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, extended uh, invites to several former government officials, including the immediate past president of Liberia, uh, Honorable George Weir, unfortunately, who did not uh, make it to the uh, United Nations General Assembly for the capping of Liberia's non permanent seat, uh, security launch. So, obviously, the government of Liberia, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, asked Ambassador George Weir to uh, produce a one-minute video and also um, join other officials of government, including past government officials, to make the case of uh, to make the case for Liberia at the level of the UN Security Council uh, non-permanency campaign. However, the former president did not show up, but one former president, Ellie John Sally, actually show up. So we want to know exactly how did the campaign uh, go during that launch of the Liberia non permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council. That's one. So the president did meet the U.S. President Joe Biden. What was discussed there exactly? We would also love to know as to what of those uh, bilateral issues are discussed. Um, and how those uh, issues will um, resonate well or uh, benefit Liberians in general. So the president might also uh, talk about that, uh, right? Summit. 
So folks, kind of stay with us. Any moment from now on, we do expect uh, the president to be out and ask a few questions from the journalists, after which we will be departing this airport. So officials who have come to uh, welcome or receive the president are all here, including the vice president of the Republic of Liberia, Honorable Jeremiah Kman Kuhn, is also here. Uh, he and all of the officials of government earlier on received the president and they are now in and, and we are outside posted and awaiting them for a brief media interaction
Grande Tom. No, I'm still. So, folks, uh, while we uh, still await uh, the president to uh, come out here at the VIP lodge, here at the Rivals International Airport, uh, when I have my colleague here uh, from Punch FM, the Jeff Jefferson, of course, uh, is a colleague of mine. But Jeff, uh, you, we just wasted the president, you know, uh, to touch it down Liberia. And he's from um, the largest conference ever in the world. The United Nations General uh, Assembly, 79 sessions specifically. Uh, what did you grab from the president's you know, trip in that conference? Well, uh, basically, uh, the president is, is no stranger to the UNGA, mm -hmm. serving as vice president for 12 years old, uh, former president Ellen Joseph Sully. He basically has an understanding of what to present or what to deliver mm -hmm. the UNGA. So his many appearance. Uh, as as age is not in his favor, uh, but he did he did deliver a very good speech, right. and it was to the point. Uh, I, I think a little over 10, 10, 15 minutes between ten fifteen minutes speech he delivered, and he was able to successfully catalog uh, many of the issues. So talking about democracy, Liberia is a peaceful nation, transition from one uh, uh, democratically elected government to another. So basically, the issue about peace and. Uh, Yes. Yeah. So the the, the, the president uh, did talk about uh, justice, call for justice, mm -hmm. and he also measured the war and economic crimes court mm -hmm. and how his well, government will make sure yeah. that uh, uh, that uh, uh, court will be implemented. And when you talk about transparency, accountability, and so forth, um, he also talk about poverty reduction, call on uh, global leaders to make sure to apply significant efforts in making sure that our poverty can be reduced worldwide. And he actually laid emphasis on developing countries or on developed countries that we see Liberia, yes. uh, that those uh, countries that already have strong economies should be able to assist you know, developing countries. All right. And, 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 and the issue recently, of climate change as well. Mm -hmm, the issue of climate change as mm -hmm. well. And recently they launched the uh, Liberia non-permanency uh, to the United Nations uh, Security Council and of course, that result is, is still out there. These are some of the things that the president talked about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I said, uh, the president was very uh, uh, deliberate. He was very. So there you have the president uh, proceeding to the media. Mr. President, welcome back to Liberia. Thank you. How was that trip? Very, very good. Okay. Mr. President, you uh, attended uh, two conferences, uh, one in Canada and one in the United States of America, you the UNGA 79 session. What the good news you brought uh, back to Liberia? All of these are about restoring confidence in our country, putting our country on the map again, and then seeking opportunity for investment, opportunities for people to come and provide quality uh, input in our system. Mr. President, you also met uh, the United Nations uh, U.S. President Joe Biden. You have a uh, uh, reception, a uh, dinner with the president. Uh, what was the, the discussion about? Any good news? The well? reception with Joe Biden was not one on one. It was with Joe Biden to tell us goodbye in an open speech and after a photo audience. That's what we did. So, Mr. President, my name is Master Tadu. I work with ELBC Radio. I want to know how crucial is the uh, the Liberia autonomous seat on the UN Security Council? Because others are saying that we should focus on the very important issues in the country and not on the UN Security Council. Well, the UN Security Council. Yes. Very important. The Security Council has five prominent members. Additional members who are not women. And their voices are heard. It's an opportunity to move at a level that you can be a decision making of the world. 
in Liberia were given a very, very strong support of that. And I think it's something that is beyond overdue because we are founders of the UN, uh, the UN complete start of the year from the child, then of the child. So that's our entire and we have been long overdue. So we are. Thank you, Mr. President. So, folks, I'm Sylvester Chiroplay. We just have an interview, a short interview with His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, here at the Rabos International Airport. There you have the Vice President of the Republic of Liberia and other schools or government officials who have come to receive His Excellency, President Joseph Nyomabwaka, here at the Rabos International Airport. So, folks, Sylvester Chiroplay, Spoon TV, very coming to you live from the Rabos International Airport. Thanks so very kindly for watching. So